it's a, a beautiful place to close out the campaign in Michigan. I am sorry to say that this is the last time that I will be in Michigan as a vice presidential candidate. But if we go out and do our job tomorrow, I'll come back as vice president of the United States of America. Let's do that. Ohio Senator J.D. Vance in Flint today urging his supporters to get out and vote for the Republican ticket. Vance slammed what he called a generation of American leaders who failed communities like Flint. The GOP vice presidential nominee also hit on other top issues like the economy and the border. Vance says the policies of the Biden-Harris administration have cost Americans their jobs and that former President Donald Trump's plans would bring back prosperity. Supporters in the crowd tell TV5's Zane Omer they're hopeful tomorrow will bring a new wave of leadership. Zane? Chat and Meg, in 2016, former President Donald Trump won Michigan, but in 2020, President Joe Biden was the vic victorious one here. Now, J.D. Vance is trying to turn the tide red just less than 24 hours before Election Day. For too long, we have been left behind, we have been ignored, we have been neglected, we have had a generation of American leaders who have shipped American jobs overseas and brought in millions upon millions of illegal aliens well in just tomorrow. Tomorrow that is going to stop because when we bring Donald J. Trump back to the White House, we're going to put our citizens first. Republican vice presidential nominee Senator J.D. Vance making a last minute push to voters. We get back to the common sense policies of Donald J. Trump. We can get back to the peace and prosperity of that leadership. But I do believe, my friends, that we are on the cusp of a golden age of American prosperity. The latest polls show a close race with Vice President Kamala Harris having a slight edge over former President Donald Trump in Michigan. I spoke with voters in the audience of today's rally who hope to see Trump take the lead. He runs the country like a business, which it is. He's a businessman. He started many businesses. He doesn't run it like a politician. He may not want to be his golf buddy, but he did bring peace when he was in office. Driving them to the polls, immigration, and inflation. I feel like this is a very pivotal election. Uh, I mean, every election's pivotal, but this seems like uh, we're at a tipping point in this country with the cost of living going up and up. This is a American, everything's gone up tremendously. So hopefully with Trump and Vance, it'll go down back to where it was. If not where it was, at least more affordable. Both agreeing with Vance's message today. He hit the nail on the head on a lot of issues, especially with the manufacturing and the cost of living. He just uh, is a credible backstory, uh, very well spoken, uh, loves his country, uh, doesn't put down other Americans. Uh, so that's important, just his patriotism. As as he makes his final appeal to voters with hopes of turning Michigan red. Michigan, tomorrow we're going to vote for a change. We're going to vote to take this country in a new direction. We're going to vote for prosperity. We're going to vote for Donald J. Trump for president of the United States. to stop here at the Capitol Theater comes just days after a rally at Flint Bishop Airport held by Harris's running mate, Tim Walls. Reporting live in Flint, Zane O'Mare, back to you.